Okay, now when we're talking about the expected return of a portfolio, there are two ways to go about calculating the expected return. I'm gonna show you the first way here. And the first way says that the expected return of a portfolio is equal to the weighted average right, return of the assets expected return. So this says the sum of the weight of each asset J times the expected return of each asset J, where J is one of these assets. So this is just like the expected return for an asset formula, only the weight is, instead of a probability, we have a weight of the asset, and instead of the actual return, we have the expected return of that asset. So I can expand my term here. I can say the expected return of my portfolio is equal to the weight of my portfolio that's invested in double click times the expected return for double click plus the weight of my portfolio in Coca-Cola times the expected return of Coca-Cola plus the weight of my portfolio in Intel Computer times the expected return for Intel. Finally, plus the weight of my portfolio invested in Keithley Industries times the expected return of Keithley. Right. So again, a little tedious, but nothing complicated here. This is the appropriate method to calculate, to use to calculate the expected return for the portfolio if what you already have is the expected returns of the assets themselves. So here I'm given the expected returns of the asset. That means I can use this formula, save myself a little time, calculate the expected return of the portfolio directly. Now I've already calculated the weights of the portfolio up here, so I just need to combine those two things. I have 13.33% of my portfolio in double click, and the expected return for double click was given to me at 19.69%. Plus, 20% of my portfolio is invested in Coca-Cola, which provides a five and a quarter percent expected return. Plus, 26.7% of my portfolio is invested in Intel, which has a 16.65% expected return. Plus, the remaining 40% of my portfolio is invested in Keithley Industries, which provides an 18.24% expected return. And so I can do my algebra correctly and get 0.1541 or 15.41% expected return. Okay. Now notice something really important here, which is that forming this portfolio was not the method to go about me earning the highest expected return because I would earn the highest expected return by putting all $15,000 in double click, right? I would, I would earn almost as high by putting it all in Keithley, but I don't need to put any money in Coca-Cola. It's expected return is in the single digits compared to the double digits for these other three firms. So I'd have an even higher, an even uh, more, uh, a higher expected return for my portfolio if I didn't have any money in Coke and just money in the other three. The question is not whether we, but, or rather, we don't form a portfolio with that in mind, right? The reason I form a portfolio is to reduce my risk. Remember that I need to intelligently decide on what kinds of assets I should hold in my portfolio so that the risks of each asset outweigh one another, right? So when I form a portfolio, I am trying to think about the assets and the way that their returns and risks interact with each other, right? So it's not all about expected return here. It's about expected return and risk reduction.